Hi, I'm Dr. Reza Momini. I'm a board-certified Yale-trained plastic surgeon. I practice at uh, Summit Medical Group in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey, in the suburbs of New York. We recognized a while ago that many of the patients who have pectus excavatum really have no problems with the heart or the lung. They have more of an issue with the appearance of the pectus excavatum. So the simple procedure is focused on correcting the appearance without being invasive or without trying to change the shape of the chest bone itself. So because some patients, some argue most patients with pectus excavatum really have no problems with their heart or lung, I've always had the opinion that it may be unnecessary to enter somebody's chest cavity. And so it's better to just approach the problem for the appearance problem that it is and keep it a lot safer and keep it a lot simpler. So we try to modify the appearance of the pectus excavatum with even a less invasive procedure so that we can create a molded, custom-made implant for the sunken area of the chest and place it into the sunken area so that the appearance of the sunkenness goes away. The benefit of the simple procedure largely is that it's the absolutely least invasive of all of the surgical procedures that are available now. As opposed to most of the other techniques that are out there, like the Ravage technique or the NUS technique, the simple procedure requires no hospitalization at all. It can be performed in about an hour surgery, and it is ambulatory, meaning it's outpatient. There's no need to stay overnight in a hospital. And when you compare the pain and the recovery between the simple procedure and all the other procedures that try to modify the chest cage, it is 90% less pain and discomfort. Uh, the reaction that we get from our patients when they come in for their first post-op visit on the first day is typically very remarkable. Most patients are used to looking down on their chest and seeing a funnel chest for 15 or 20 or 30 or 40 years. And when you take that first bandage off of a patient and show them literally the next day after the operation how this problem that they've looked at for decades is gone, uh, the reactions are just priceless. Um, I've had... Uh, wide grins. I've had people jump off the table and just uh, want to give me a hug. Uh, I've had screams. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's really remarkable. And, and honestly, that's what we live for.